Right, just uh, casually sitting here, taking the Baofeng UV5R apart, you know, as you do. Um, had to do some repair work on it through its uh, constant outdoor use. And uh, a few little interesting tips for taking it apart, if you ever need to. <clears throat> right, once you take the battery off, you've got some screws to remove. You've got one, two, and then three and four. When you take off the belt clip, there's a little plastic thing there. There'll be two screws that you can see with a belt clip on, but I think you've got to remove them. So two screws off to get the belt clip off, then four screws. And then this whole section here has to come up, sort of up, then out. So first take off the, um, the nut on there, the washer nuts on those. That, the volume control just slides off. Don't have to worry about that. And the light bulb's not fixed. That just slides out. Um, the microphone speaker mic flap has got to be open as it's attached to the sockets on this centre bit here. Now I used a small knife to get underneath this bottom one here and lift it quite a bit because the plastic here is really quite wide and then it's right underneath that plastic is the board and you don't want to be putting a knife or a screwdriver on that and snapping it so once you've got the back up obviously the circuit board's clear make sure the flaps open you just push down on the volume knob while sort of lifting the bottom end up and the thing just gently slides open out now like most radios the speakers attached and the problem why I put mine back together was um, sometimes the keypad comes out let's try and put this somewhere stable Sometimes the keypad comes out, so when you put it back together, make sure that's all in properly. And the problem I had, the micro switches for the PTT, the squelch, and the radio, um, they, one, two, three, they were catching on the rubber as I was putting it back in and pushing them down. So they weren't in line, so when I first closed it up, I, um, they weren't pushing in on the switches. Switches had pushed the rubber down. So I took a bit of card, I won't be able to do this one-handed, really thin bit of card, put it in there, so when I slide this back down, um, the buttons won't push down on the plastic. See there the plastic moves. If you can see. Not really, but the whole thing moves, it comes out if you push it too hard. So by reinserting the radio component, not the outer casing, it was pushing down on the plastic. So there's my little tip for taking the radio apart. And um yeah wouldn't be a, wouldn't hurt to blow it all out and dust it off every now and then get all the crap out from inside the problem I had was uh, the volume control needed some switch cleaner it's very crackly a lot of dirt was going in there uh, so I'm gonna need a washer to go underneath the volume knob just to stop the stuff from getting in there but it, it's still finding its way in I did have one well I've got one there for the antenna stop the crap getting in in there 
but there's not really any moving parts in there. The problem was it's scratchy and the volume I can't turn it up and down smoothly. You know, uh, it'd be right if I spent a lot of time in my pocket or in a case, but it gets used out and about quite a lot. So, uh, yeah, there's my little tip. When you put it back together, get your bit of card and put it between the buttons and the case. Slide it all back in. Remember, it goes in and then down so you don't snap anything off here. And then just pull the card up. And it should all be lined up. Otherwise, you'll put it all in, screw it all back together, and find out your buttons don't work on the side. Right. That's about all there is to it, really. That's what a UV5R looks like inside. A couple of tiny little LEDs there. And they share the same bit of plastic, frosted plastic there, and it just lights up according to whatever, whatever's on. Um, buttons like the old mobile phones. But uh, that's as far as I'm going to go in taking this apart. Right, thanks for watching. I'm going to try and put it back together now.